wasn't the kind of blockbuster that Hollywood execs like to see. In July, more than 130,000 performers in the Screen Actors Guild voted to storm off set and go full method on the picket line. We will not allow you to take away our dignity! Production shut down, deserted red carpets led to nowhere. And no one could even turn this drama into a screenplay because the writers were on strike too. The writer's strike kind of stifled pre-production and then when the actor's strike started, it stopped all of those in production. So basically for us in New Zealand from, from you know about the end of July through to now, it's been very quiet in terms of international work. Now, six weeks after screenwriters reached a deal, the Screen Actors Guild has won an increase in minimum wage, royalty options from streaming hits, and consent protections from AI. Yeah. These are the first protections that we've seen um, that really put a, a requirement on the producers if they're going to use AI to get the consent of the actors. It's cost the California economy over $11 billion. It's affected the jobs of thousands of behind-the-scenes contractors on productions all over the world, including New Zealand. That safety valve of people being able to flee offshore for work wasn't uh, in place for this particular crisis. There were productions that were uh, put on hold. Most notably was Minecraft, uh, which had Jason Marmore as the lead. Now Hollywood's been given a reboot. Productions can resume on dozens of TV shows and movies we've been waiting far too long to see. And they include Avatar 3, Deadpool 3, Avatar 4, Gladiator 2, Venom 3, Avatar 5, June Part 2 and <sighs> Mission Impossible 7 Part 2. My understanding is that uh, activity is starting to ramp up again, phones are starting to ring again, the emails are starting to ding. Clearly, La La Land loves a sequel. So, like superhero movies, is there a danger of all of this just happening again in another couple of months? Maybe a video game actor's strike has been given the green light if negotiations for that dispute fall over to be continued. Kia ora, welcome to the Friday Night Project. Look, Laura Tupo's here! Yay! months with you in lockdown so cool to have you back on the project yeah it's lovely to be back with miss hollywood and yeah. i'm literally yeah. on the edge of my seat because i'm like when are all my favorite shows going to come back yeah. i know uh, this is such good news yeah. it's been going on for so long that was not a made-up list by the way all those sequels it right? was not a made-up <laughs> list there are a lot of sequels one two three fours uh coming our way but hopefully what it will mean is that lots of other non-sequeled shows yeah. will finally be getting so they've been deadlocked for months mm -hmm. how did they manage to find an agreement uh, I think one of the biggest sticking points was residuals and pay. And also for a lot of the actors that don't get billions of dollars, like the Brad Pitts, um, it's making sure they earn enough so that they can get health insurance, which might not sound like a lot, but there are a lot of actors in Hollywood that don't make as much money as you think. And AI is a big one, and in there they said they now have to get permission, so is that... They do, and that was one of the biggest sticking points, and I totally get it because it felt like such a threat. Yeah. I mean, essentially now they own themselves, which they should do, their own image. Uh, they can negotiate for how much it gets paid for, your image, if they want to use it for right. AI, and you can also get paid every time that it's used. So wow. it's kind of a big... Right. Yeah. I heard all of that, but when's the next season? <laughs> <laughs> and and <laughs> Season six, it is going to be the finale. Honestly, they haven't even kicked off production on oh. that, so oh, probably not till the end of next year. I'm and so sorry. And what about darling. the writers' strike? When do you think that'll be sorted out? The, the writers, the writers' strike's finished. It's all over. Yeah. Why well, my writers still on strike? <laughs> <laughs> I've got something to say to the writers on the show, and when they come come up with it, I will say it. Right. <laughs> Just let us know. We'll oh, space. A little bit. Oh.